the most popular sneaker in the world. Okay, this is my opinion, right? Again, my opinion because I went to Berlin recently and I've been to other few places in a couple other years, uh, such as Barcelona and Madrid and a few other places. But is it me, right? And this has kind of been a, an example because obviously this article I've seen a hype piece. But is it me or is the Adidas Continental the most popular shoe uh, in the world right now? Just think about it, right? In terms of the sneakers you see around your city centre, wherever you live, right? Um, on the train, on the way to go to work, on the, when you're going out, when you're hanging out with your friends, what do you see a lot of people wearing day to day, right? It's not really Yeezys and stuff. You have to go to certain areas to go see that kind of stuff. If I go to Shoreditch, Old Street, Dawson, uh, Peckham, Leighton, um, uh, sorry, Lewisham, Streatham, Brixton, um, Notting Hill, um, Enfield, Angel, I'm going to see Yeezys, right? The kind of hot, the kind of hips are hotspots. But, Away from there, I always see people wearing the Continentals, right? And again, I'm not sure why they're so popular. I'm not sure why they've become more popular than, let's say, Reebok Classics, which they've kind of taken inspirations from, right? Because Reebok Classics, you don't really see people wearing them that often. If you do, it's a particular kind of, you know, um, dirty hipster with white socks and black jeans rolled up, right? It's a particular kind of look. Um, but Continentals, I've seen them worn everywhere. I've seen them worn by Italian tourists. I've seen them worn by um, uh, kids in Berlin, like everyone's wearing these shoes and at the, at the time when i saw them i thought they were like um on sale or something because sometimes you know a place like Foot Locker or jd sports or like even an asos or whatever it may be called would kind of put a huge run of these shoes because these are shoes that they they have to kind of buy season in season out right most shoes um especially if you've got an adidas account they'll they might allow you to buy some like limited edition shoes but you have to buy some you have to then buy some bits of the line that are just like you know the core kind of collection quote unquote so a lot of these stores would get a huge allocation of these shoes and you know it's impossible to shift all of them right um there's only so many feet in the world that you can adorn so sometimes they'll be like sweeping um slashes on prices on these shoes and because they only retail for i think for about 90 quid anyway when you slash them by like you know 40 percent whatever they become really appealing and plus they're quite easy to wear so wherever i've been out in london overall i've seen these shoes fucking everywhere and i guess Again, it might be able to do, to do a sale and it also might be to do a strategic Adidas move because there's an article now I've seen on the hype piece called um, and it says the following Adidas now is the most expensive content to release to date um, which means that I think they're going to put out a lot of these shoes, right? So the article says the following after emerging in in various one of colorways ranging from the scarlet red to understated um, grey the updated um, the understated Adidas content is set to arrive in a wide variety of colorways. An up and coming drop will deliver the comfortable silhouette in no less than six distinct makeups. So, six more colorways coming out. The four inch content will hit the global markets on March 14th. So, they've made an entire campaign over these shoes that looked quite core, cool, looked quite generic. So, I think Adidas are obviously seeing on their end of it in terms of sales that these shoes are fucking going everywhere. This is turning into like the Adidas um air force one right in that respect because i've honestly i've seen it everywhere like i've seen it literally everywhere and i've seen it on on a wide range of people too which then goes to show how popular it actually really is and again for me i'm quite a fan of it it's taking inspiration or maybe it's the other way around maybe the calabasas take inspiration from this but i quite like it man i think it's one of those shoes that you can generally wear with most outfits um it works really well with the gum sole i think there as well and again with my um resistance or hesitancy or refusal to wear anything that's to do with Reebok this is probably the best thing this is probably a good um middle ground if you don't want to wear Reebok classics and look like um you know one of those guys that I don't know listen to Rinse FM on your phone I think this is probably the best way to do it um Adidas Continental they look really nice here I really like this all red colorway actually red with like the black and yellow stripe on the side and I'm, I wonder how comfortable or uncomfortable they are to wear as well um and looking at them as well they would probably make a quite a good skate shoe right if they were decided to update them a little bit maybe the, maybe the tread needs to get updated somehow maybe you need to change the tread in some way shape or form maybe make it vulcanized if you want but i think it would be a pretty good skate shoe um again oh look at this black is that black suede black new book oof but they're probably women's in it right black new book with like a pink and i don't know if that's a cream swoosh cream stripe on the side they look fucking hard they're really nice. Again, um, I'm assuming this kind of run, as per usual, there's a black leather pair as well. This will probably coincide with a collaboration drop, as per usual. Most of these brands will do this. They'll drop a little core collection of these shoes. They obviously adorn them on some young-looking models with Dickies worn here and denim and 
girls wearing dresses with the shoes. So they obviously know what they're doing and who they're aiming it at. And I'm assuming the next few months we'll probably see a collaboration come up with a, from a brand using the content, using the the continental silhouette. That's something that I can probably um, say with some sort of confidence without get, having any sort of any inside the info. And again, I wonder if it is a strategic move from Adidas so that they purposely flooded the market with these shoes, seeded them to a few people, and then they won. But I don't think so because I think most influencers like wearing wacky shoes, isn't it? They don't necessarily wear like normal shoes. Like, you know, an influencer to me, like especially the ones like, you know, I kind of grew up idolizing like the Hiroshi Fujiwara's nose kind of likes. They wouldn't just wear the wackier stuff. They'd kind of pull stuff from the archives, like, you know, like Bruins and stuff, like basic shoes and kind of like, you know, um, raise them and put them on a, on a pulpit. But hipsters nowadays like wearing really, really, really funky shit. If it's not funky, they ain't, they ain't fucking interested, which is, you know, annoying, I guess, for uh, people like myself. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, I like the look of the Continental. Um, hopefully we see more of these models coming up soon. And again, don't be surprised if you don't see a collaboration of these coming up very, very soon. Um,